This is Andy Leakty, your host for ADTV Selling Indianapolis. For our second episode, I'm really excited to be featuring two businesses in our community that really feature vastly different industries, Kula Logistics and No Label at the Table and Carmel. And what I love about both of these businesses is even though they do very different things, I see a lot of commonalities and I really just see a unique culture that is just empowering their employees and is just also providing just a great experience for their customers. Really excited for the second episode to tell their story and to really um, get you acquainted with these fantastic businesses. So Cool Logistics, they have the four Fs for their values. They have faith, family, fitness, and freight. And I think what was just really exciting when I had the chance to get to, to um, talk to them is they really live their values. The camaraderie at, at, at Kui Logistics really was exceptional and really just kind of further illustrated, um, I think just the overall culture of the community of, of the community and how the employees feel cared for. You know, I mean, they're just having fun. They're having a good time when somebody makes a sale. They're banging the gong. You know, I mean, they have a, a spot where they can go and, you know, sh you know, play ping pong or shoot darts. I I mean, it really is just like, a, just a fun environment to work in. Cool Logistics, I, really, it's amazing in the short time that they've been here in, in Carmel, just the asset that they are to the community. And again, I think that goes back to the culture. The other business we're featuring, No Label at the Table, really has a special place in my heart. I'm a customer of No Label at the Table, and it's a it's a non-dairy, non-gluten bakery. To me, what really makes it special is that all of the all of the workers there are adults with autism, and uh, the mission of the company to bake wonderful, healthy food, but also by um, accessing an underutilized workforce that can bring a lot of value to the marketplace was something that just resonated with me. And uh, really, I felt like was a story that I was eager to tell. And I'm really just excited with this episode that we can just tell a little bit of their story. Um, and, and you can learn more about um, what this great company is, is doing for, for our community at large. Chef Jay, you know, he's kind of the rainmaker there as far as I'm concerned. It's really, it was his dream to be able to be a chef and watching them be able to make that dream a reality. You can just tell that he really enjoys what he's doing. He's passionate about what he's doing. And that's something that to me, um, I love being around people that love what they do. Mm -hmm.